What's good, YouTube? Mario Devon back for yet another video. So, lately I've been doing my thing, trying to do this podcast production thing. I have my own podcast that I'm trying to produce, and I want to produce others for other people, all right? So, I'm trying to get out here and do my show thing, all right? So, one of the things I ran into an issue with is editing, all right? I'm using three camera angles, all right? I'm using a Z cam, I'm using the R6, and I have the Canon R, and I'm running all those Canon R's, those, all those, those two Canon R's on the Atomos Ninja 5. So, I have three camera angles, and I was like, hey, it has to be a faster way to edit. I found myself, you know, spending about five hours trying to edit podcasts because I was trying to switch through these angles and this and that. And it was just like, okay, it has to be an easier way to do this. So I looked it up and there's this thing called multicam. Never heard of multicam, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. So today I figured I would show you that trick too, because that has saved me tremendously, a tremendous amount of time. Okay. So I want to make sure I provide that for you too. So let's go into it. We're going to use this here laptop, this here computer thing. All right. And we're going to go through multicam together we'll be doing this in premiere pro obviously the first thing you want to do is open premiere pro and add your footage so let's go ahead and do that now when you open premiere pro you want to open up a sequence you want to create a new sequence always use the dslr 24 frames per second it's very easy you know easy preset that's one of my go-to's but then from there you want to add your footage so add your footage all of it from the podcast or anything you have that has multiple angles so because i'm using the atomos ninja 5 i'm gonna have to delete some tracks and the reason why i'm deleting those tracks is because some of those don't have audio because the Atmos Ninja 5 just records in this weird way. So now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is line up my clips, all right? So you want to get those, look at the audio, look at the WAV files, line them up. What I always recommend is that you slate, all right? Before you start recording, you can slate. If you slate, that gives you a chance to actually be able to line it up. You can find your mark, and here, you see my marks here on the screen. You see those slate marks. For me, now it makes it, you know, a lot easier to actually find out where the podcast starts. So now that we have everything Everything lined up matched up perfectly synced up perfectly you want to make sure that the length of your actual tracks are the same that is very important when you're doing multicam so obviously I have too many audio sources okay so I just need one I just need one good one and the thing about this is I'm usually recording to the roadcaster so I have an external audio source what's cool about that is that can also be added to this multicam setup all you have to do same thing sync the audio with the video that you already have that also has audio and boom there you go same idea I'm just not you know gonna bring the audio in in this situation because y'all you don't need it to know what i'm doing all right you got it you see what you know it's mainly for the video okay so my next thing is i'm going to actually unlink these files and the reason why is because again i only need one audio source so for this case we're going to use the z cam audio source we're going to keep that there but i'm going to remove the rest of these and that's also going to provide me a lot more space you know on my timeline so let's go ahead and make those changes so let's get to the nitty-gritty everything is synced up the audio synced up perfectly Perfectly. Everything's ready to go. Audio's there. Let, let's do this. Okay. So the next step, everything's lined up. All right. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Okay. You're going to nest. All right. You're going to highlight the clips here. All right. Don't worry about the audio because I'm telling you with the audio source that you have, that's all. You, don't worry about that. The audio is already synced up. The main thing you need to worry about is nesting your video clips. Cool. So we're going to nest these video clips. They're now nested. We're just going to do a regular nested sequence. Cool. That's the sequence, everything's together. Now you have this situation where you're like, all my clips are kind of combined. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how you get it. What you want to do now is you want to right click on that nested sequence. You want to go over to multicam. There you go. Multicam, you want to enable. Great. Now that we've actually enabled multicam, the next step is actually being able to, you know, see your multicam. So what you want to do is actually add it. You're here in your program window. You need to add it. You won't, you know, have it there default. So that's up to you to make that decision to make that happen. So you're going to hit that plus sign in the program window. From there, you're going to drag this down. You got this here. There is the multicam toggle view window right there. Just drag it down here you'll hit just just let it go make sure you hit okay if you don't hit okay then it'll actually reset so hit okay and there you go from there all you have to do is click multicam and there you go you have your multicams how is this set up this is set up based on you know your camera so it's based on your track this is track one track two track three your number pad doesn't work so make sure that you actually use the keys at the top you know above your actual you know you know what i'm saying i don't know what i'm talking about the navigating the keyboard but i'm saying the keys above and not in the number pad so You'll see that as I toggle through, if I press one, that is camera angle one. If I press two, that's two. If I press three, that's three. So the cool thing about this is now all you have to do is press play. 
so we're gonna press play and as you see we have it here we have these different camera angles right now it's kind of a little jittery just because i'm doing this on my laptop but just notice this i can toggle between camera angles what you see now is that red square what is that red square doing i'm going to show you what it's doing is actually writing is actually writing uh, onto the session you know what camera angles you're going to use so i'm just showing you how it's going to go and i'm just going through it this is the this is the way you edit actually if you know your podcast and you have listened to it you know exactly kind of like where each person is going in what's cool about that is you can actually edit that you can, all you have to do is edit that as you go so what i'm saying is that as you press play and you let it play through when you see that red square it's actually recording what camera is going to be shown all you have to do is choose one two three you get to set up whatever track it is where your camera angles are and then from there you'll just press what number track you want to be shown at the time so what's cool about that is say for instance we're here right now we have john drinking water we may not want to see john drinking water right now that's kind of rude to have someone drinking water and showing them on camera so let's change that camera angle you can do that on the fly as you see that says mc3 that's multicam 3 right now i'm more than likely talking because john is you know doing this thing drinking water so what i would do instead is right here you can actually change it you can go back and change it all you have to do is press two so now that has turned into mc2 because now i've changed that angle you can always go back and make those changes if you make that mistake so that is multicam i hope that has helped you all because for me it has helped me tremendously not only with like editing podcasts but it's also helped me when i'm editing my youtube videos because i of course like to use multiple camera angles all right so you know i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna do multicam when i'm doing this and right now you know you should see me switching from camera to camera if i'm switching from camera to camera that means i use multicam to do it all right it not only works on three camera angles it works on two camera angles works on four camera angles whatever you want to do live your life it is yours all right to live okay so i hope that has helped anyone please please like comment subscribe let me know below if you actually like this setup where we are like going through things together whether it be video editing photo editing anything like that if you like that you know let me know down below Low. please again like comment subscribe to your boy support the channel it'd be greatly appreciated i will see you all in the next video peace out what if i ain't good at mathematics what if i ain't good at this rapid what if everything i do i just ain't good enough at it they'll say your work was good but you ain't have a good enough habit you ain't fiend for it enough you wasn't a good enough addict try to stay in the right lane but i'm swerving through traffic try my life in this dice game they say i hope you don't crap it Cold dramatic stress i be